Hi there, and welcome to a third and final tutorial on the Wrinkle tools. In this uh, video, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Blackbird, making a distinction between uh, market orders and stop orders, and um, just continue a little bit uh, on the uh, strategy or the template that we created in Bloodhound in the previous video. So if you didn't uh, check that out, make sure to do so before watching this video it will make a much more sense to you. So uh, here we have the uh, logic. We're just combining the major trend with the reversal bar signals. So we get reversal bar signals in the direction of the trend here. And uh, we can use Blackbird then to trigger those signals automatically. So you go ahead and you grab Blackbird here, a market order to start with, grab the blood on signal that we just created. So go ahead and get the Renko tools. And we also need to identify the entry signal template. And we saw that was reversal bars aligned with the major trend. And then you can simply set this to a market order. So at uh, bar close, we will have a reversal signal here. And at a profit target, uh, we can set this to three. That way we will have a one to two ratio when we set our stop loss at 1.5. Hit OK. And then we'll restart this. And we should be in the market with this uh, reversal down that we saw aligning with the major trend here. And we see that the stop loss has been set at a 1.5 ATR on the 20 last bars and a three times ATR for the profit target. So everything here is uh, set up the way we defined it. We're in the market at the open of the next bar. This is set to calculate on bar close. And um, now build a alternative approach for use with um, stop orders. And uh, what you can do is to copy this major trend called the minor trend. And we will turn this around because we want to anticipate the reversals that go with the major trend. I'll show this in chart shortly. So we'll call this major minor trend. We are in a downtrend. Now we're looking for a down reversal, which will align with the major trend. And so what we can do is to set a stop entry order here, since we know that once the Renko low projection is met, uh, we will have fulfilled the uh, requirement for a, a bearish reversal. We'll show now how to set a stop order with Blackbird. You should probably work with the uh, calculate on each tick for this instead of on bar close. So if you set uh, the indicators as well as Blackbird to calculate on each tick, that will perform better in a live trading scenario. So we go in and we add, well, let's uh, hang on a second. We need to save this first. Save the blood on template before you go and call it in Blackbird. When adding Blackbird, also set this to calculate on each tick. And we go in and grab the blood on signal, the modified template that we just created. We will use the new entry signal and go with the stop entry order. 
that will be based on a indicator value, namely the wrinkle tools, the projected high and projected low. These are the appropriate data series for calculate on each tick. If you use it on bar close, you would uh, use the next bar projection high and low levels. Generally, this works better if uh, you work with on each tick. It will be placed immediately and we will cancel it after one bar. So once we do not have a signal anymore, then we will cancel the order. Again, set this to the same as in the previous example. And hit OK. So now all we have to do is to wait for a, a bearish reversal. We're currently in a uh, downtrend and uh, we first need to set a reversal up in order for it to look for a reversal bar which is aligned with this new downtrend. Let's adjust this a little bit so that we can see better. So one thing that you might want to consider is allow entry on the same bar and then we see that uh, we have a stop entry order waiting reversal down bar. That puts us uh, ahead in the order book versus submitting a market order. And so if you have tested with market orders and finding in preliminary research that this is a sound and viable strategy, you may want to reduce your slippage cost using stop orders. Now, if we get a continuation bar here, the stop order will be adjusted upwards to the next reversal down level, obviously. So either way here, we should uh, see a new order submit. We have adjusted now the stop entry level to the new projected Renko reversal requirement. Looks like we might have another breaking this uh, projection high will readjust the order again it will then be another continuation bar in the new swing leg or in the latest swing leg we're still in a downtrend though until we reach this level up here there we have it we have a fill and we see that the stop loss and the profit target uh, is set. And uh, with that, I will conclude this uh, little tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to submit them to me via the Lizard Indicators contact form. Otherwise, at uh, info at lizardindicators.com. Be happy to hear from you. In the meantime, take care and bye-bye.